Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another Wild Rift video. And again, I, I, I'm serious. I have another banger game for you guys. Like an absolute banger. Okay? And um, this game was actually played one day before the previous... No, actually a few days before the patch. But... Um, I'm still gonna upload it because you still have to build the same on Zix. By the way, if you want to know what to build on Zix, I'll put a link in the description to a video where I explain exactly to you what to build on Zix. So if you want to know that, you know, video in the description. Like, I'm still gonna upload this video because Zix playstyle is still exactly the same. So, you really, really need to see the late game of this video. It is... It <laughs> I'm so excited for it already, but let's talk about the early game first, okay? You know, I know the late game is exciting, but let's talk about the early game. So I'm against Yasuo, and Yasuo is a matchup that you, you want to abuse when you're playing Zix, right? You don't want to give him a free lane. You want to keep, you know, dealing damage on him. And the easiest way to do that is to throw your third ability, just like that. You can throw your third ability to pop his shield, and what I mean with his shield is his passive. So just take a look at how I'm abusing this uh, Yasuo. Look at this. I keep going on him. I keep going on him. I keep going on him. He, he like he doesn't even flash away because he knows it's too late already. If he flashed away, I would have chased him. Keep hitting him. You are going to win. And I really want to give you a tip when playing against a, uh, an easy matchup like Yasuo is when you're like when you're behind your minions like you know uh when you're behind your minions you can keep hitting the enemy yasuo without the enemy minions hitting you so you're always gonna out trade him always always and when he dives you you're also gonna out trade him because your minions are gonna help you when he dives you that is why you should always win a lane like that like just freeze the lane in the middle freeze it and whenever he wants to farm hit him don't like don't let him farm just keep hitting him like, if you do that he's gonna get super low and then you're either gonna kill him or your jungler is gonna kill him like look at this i'm not gonna let him help the jungler i'm gonna help you know i'm gonna stay here i actually threw everything into his wind wall which is kind of funny but um like you saw him rotate there you don't want to leave him alone you want to rotate as well so look look at the way i'm playing I stay behind my minions, and as you can see, my minions are hitting him as well. You know, he's he's not gonna get free hits on me. <clears throat> You'll see me do this throughout the whole game. By the way, sorry if, if I may sound a little out of breath, because I just came back from uh, uh, running with my uncle, which was pretty fun. So, you know, I'm wearing my uh, running shirt. <laughs> oh, ooh, okay, I guess I have some Tinder to check after this video, huh? Hmm, okay, interesting. Oh, wait, okay. Relax, okay? One message is enough, all right? No, you'll get a piece of me, but relax. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I, you know, I know I make educational videos, but, you know, sometimes I can make a joke. But look, 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 look at how I'm playing my lane. Just look at how hard I'm destroying him. And I just forced his flash. This is what you want to do as a Zix. And this is what you'll see me do all the time against the Yasuo. And here's another cool thing. Um, your passive deals... 200% damage to turrets, and here we just killed him again, like, I'm absolutely dominating this lane. Your passive, which is, you know, the empowered uh, the empowered basic attack, you can see when you get the empowered basic attack, by the way, if you you can see the yellow or red bar under Zix, whenever the bar fills, and like right now, it is red, you will have an empowered basic attack. And as I said, this empowered basic attack deals 200% damage to turrets, 200%. So, of course, it's going to burn down turrets. So, um, and using your abilities is going to give you 40% charge of that passive. So, what you want to do is when you take turrets, use your passive, you know, like basic attack. Then use two bombs. I, I suggest you use your first and third ability. Then you're going to have your passive again and you use another basic attack. That way, you're going to do insane damage to the turret. Just, and just keep, like, look at how I play my lane. I am not giving him any chance to do anything. I don't want to make him do anything because that's what I can do as a Zix. If you don't, if you don't play like me against a Yasuo, he's gonna get into the late game and he's gonna get fat. But look, look at how much damage I do. Boom! I throw my bomb just to charge up my passive, as you can see. And I sh like, um, I should honestly be able to get this turret. Look, boom! I don't actually go for it. No, no, it was too late. The Gragas was here. Yeah. I want to say that in this game, I went for the champion rune. And the champion rune provides you with 10% bonus damage. 10% bonus damage. And when you die, you'll lose 5%. So now, I have champion rune and the infernal dragon. 
So that is 18% bonus damage, just flat damage. So if instead of dealing 100 damage, I do 118 damage. And see, at this point, I am beyond strong. Like, I, all I gotta do is not die. If I don't die, I am absolutely gonna smash this game. And let's take a look. I should, I should take this turret. Boom, 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 and boom. There it is. Easy, easy. And look, the Yasuo did a fill. He filled his, he filled his ability. <laughs> Yasuo filled his dash. He actually dashed to a minion. That is so sad for the Yasuo. That is so, so sad. And he desperately wanted that kill. But because he filled his dash, he was unable to get it. It is so funny. Like, okay. If the Yasuo didn't actually f f uh, fill his dash, he might have killed me. But it's worth it. Even though I lost five, even though I would have lost 5% damage, it's still worth it. Why? Because I took the mid lane turret so early in the game. That's why it's worth it. Like, I got so much golden experience from the mid lane turret that, like, it's definitely worth losing the damage. But I didn't even die. Look at my damage. I deal, like, 30% HP of the Olaf with one ability. One ability, and I already deal this much damage. Imagine, imagine. Look, look at this damage. Oh! There's almost one shot at the Yasuo. Look at this. And the funny thing in this game is, I never, like, I, no, I don't want to spoil this. I don't want to spoil this. You need to watch till the late game. You need to watch it till the late game. I'm not going to spoil it. Just, I have, I basically have 18% bonus damage now. So you need to see what the hell I'm going to do with the 18% bonus damage. Here yet, I hit the Olaf again and we got it yet another kill. Insane. This is snowballing with Zix, guys. And... If you are good with Ziggs, and especially good with positioning, um, take take the champion rune. You know, the rune that gives you 10% bonus damage unless you die. Like, when you die, you'll lose 5% and then you'll lose 5% again. So, champion rune is amazing if you are good at Ziggs. And I have a lot of Ziggs videos. So, you know, if you're new to the channel, make sure to check it out. Oh, by the way, by the way, today tomorrow is going to be the last day to enter the skin giveaway. So... All you gotta do is put down a comment under this video and under other videos that I uploaded on March. And I'm giving away five skins to random winners, you know, to random commenters. So all you gotta do, put down a comment under this video. Also, you know, give the video a like. It 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 really helps a lot with the, the uh, YouTube algorithm, whatever it is, you know. You guys already give the videos a lot of likes, so I kind of feel stupid asking it. But, you know, uh, just saying, just saying. If you enjoy the content and want to support the channel, give the video a like. That's it. So look at this, guys. Oh my god. I'm just... I have no chill. I'm going flashing into this Braum. But unfortunately, he used his heal to um, <clears throat> speed up. Wow. This is insane. How much damage am I dealing in this game? This is what happens when you get when you have champion rune 6. And especially when you take the infernal dragon 2. And keep snowballing the game. If you don't die, the enemies can, like, not come back. Of course, they can come back if they kill you. What am I gonna say? Champion? Yeah, here I mentioned champion room plus infernal. The damage is just beyond broken. It's so amazing. So let's take a look at what the hell I'm gonna do. Wait, what did I just do? Oops. What is the Yasuo? Oh, I think the Yasuo... No, I thought the Yasuo was going to run it down mid, but he actually thought that he could kill me. Oh my god, you cannot escape from me. You cannot escape. Wait, what did I do with the screen? Here, I fixed it. You cannot escape. And look, this is the enemy support. Let's see. <laughs> it's just like, I wonder how much damage I did in this game compared to the rest of my team. Like, I, I really wonder. So, um, okay, um, let's talk about pushing turrets with Ziggs. Now, in the early game, of course, you you can push turrets really fast, but it's in the late game where it becomes insane. No, I think he's actually running it down mid. No, he's... Uh, no, never mind, he's not running it down mid. That's why I'm telling every champion rune is OP. But, yeah, what was I talking about? When you get full build, full build, and what I mean with full build is five items, five damage items, you can one-shot turrets. Now, you might think that I'm that I'm trolling you, but you can... Actually, it's not one-shot. It's like... I'm saying one-shot because you can take a turret in one second. It's basically two or three-shot. 
But yeah, it's actually two or three shots because you, you need one or two passives and then your second ability. I'm not so sure if you can do it with one, but your 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 basic your empowered basic attack is basically gonna do 1,500 damage to the turrets. And the turrets have 3,000 HP. So, you know, you understand why I'm saying it's basically one shot? Because it is basically one shot. And here, you know, I'm just like, I'm not giving these guys a chance. Yeah, he is running it down now. Okay, now he is running it down. I mean, I would run it down too, to be honest, if I was him. If I got wrecked by Zix like that too. <laughs> I'm just I, I'm just chasing him, you know, to tilt this guy. Look, he actually got executed. <laughs> he actually got executed. He didn't even give me a kill. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, no, don't say things like that, okay? No, it's good that I didn't say it, but still, even considering it was a mistake. No, don't do that. So now I even have Rabadon's death cap. Look at how much damage the turrets, look. This is only with three items, by the way, this turret damage. This is only three items, look. Boom! 800 damage with three items. When I have five items, it's gonna do it's gonna do 1500 damage. When I have five items, oh my god! I'm just melting their whole front line. This is just this is disgusting. Like this is actually disgusting. The damage. Actually, the Gragas is pretty tanky, as you can see. However, it's not enough. I just we <laughs> just ace them. I want to see what happens when I buy even more items because I have 3,500 gold now. I want to see what the hell is going to happen to turrets when I buy even more items. Look, 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 look. Turret, death. From 2,200 HP, death within one se within like two seconds. And as I said, when you're full built, it, it's going to be one second or even faster than one second. It's actually half a second. You can completely decimate a turret within half a second. Again, turret. No turret. Turret, no turret. That's how it works. So about boots on um, uh, Zix, I see a lot of. Wait, let's watch this. Oh, about building boots on Zix, I see a lot of people build Ionian boots of lucidity. Um, I don't like it. And let me tell you why. Because I go for glutinous griefs, which is the which are the life steal boots. And the reason for that is because I just wanna like when you get the life steal boots you're gonna out poke the enemies because you're also gonna heal up like whenever they hit you like let's say jinx hits you with rockets and whenever you hit jinx back you're gonna heal up because of the lifesteal and that's why i like to go for it you know it's personal preference but if you if you'd had to listen to me i would tell you to go for um glutinous griefs i literally have six thousand gold now I really hope that I'm gonna bu buy items here because I really want to see what the hell I'm gonna do with items. Please go back. I want to see what's gonna happen when I get items. No, don't kill me. Oh, a friend of mine is gonna stream soon. <laughs> yeah, I'm finally gonna build items. Okay, you odd, but there are no more turrets. There are no more turrets. Okay, you need to see how how I attack the 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 nexus. If we attack the nexus, you need to see that. I'm pretty sure I, I almost one-shot Nexus too. Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So let's watch. By the way, guys, I really hope you enjoyed an occasional video like this, you know. I always upload videos, uh, I up always upload games that are like, um, you know, close or this and that. But I also sometimes, I want to experiment a little bit. Because normally when I get games where I go like 20-0 or something, I don't upload them because they are too easy. But today I actually did, okay, let's look. Today I actually did upload a game that was quite easy, you know. So I really want you guys to let me know in the comments if you enjoy videos like this too. Because obviously this was an easy game. I just completely, I just completely destroyed these enemies. And uh, let's take a look at how much damage I did actually. 40,000 damage. Okay, yeah. So thank you guys very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. And I will see you all. In the next Wall Drift video. Bye bye.